of France have risen against the oppression of the state and the monarchy. Their wish is to secure a future where freedom, equality and happiness are assured. The undisputed and so-called incorruptible leader of the revolution is one Maximilien Robespierre. But distrust and suspicion have bred fear. Fear which will lead to the deaths of revolutionary leaders such as Danton, Donglatine, Saint-Just, and ultimately Robespierre himself. Within 18 months, more than 17,000 so-called undesirables and revolutionaries will be executed by the blade of the guillotine. The National Assembly has sought a form of execution which will dispatch all classes with speed and equality instead of according to social standing and often by slow and brutish methods. In 1792, a doctor, one Joseph Ignace Guillotin, presents his guillotine machine to the assembly. The machine falls like a thunderbolt. The head flies off, the blood spurts forth, the victim is no more. Gentlemen, with my machine I can have your heads off in the twinkling of an eye and you will not feel the slightest pain. Tests are carried out on the corpses of paupers, live sheep and calves before the first person to feel the swiftness of Dr. Guillotin's machine, the highwayman. Nicolas Belletier in April 1792. Soon, thousands upon thousands, 2,500 in Paris alone, sometimes 30 a day, fall to the blade of the guillotine. The condemned are prepared. Long hair and high collars are cut away, their hands tied behind their backs. Then to the open horse-drawn carts, the tumbrils in the streets, there to suffer the shouts, insults, and humiliation of the mob, the audience in the theatre of the guillotine. Citizens, on behalf of the tribunal, I, Maximilian Robespierre, order that you now remove yourselves to the Place de Révolution, where sentence of execution will be carried out. 